Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. We're so glad Hi. you're here. Hi. I'm waving. Hi. <laughs> it's a rare doll Hi. sighting, everybody. So <laughs> Hi. Oh, my gosh. Welcome. <laughs> it's a rare doll Hi. sighting, everybody. So We've got the window open. Oh, Hi. We have like, Lisa. It's me. It was my <laughs> Oh, my God. I, I was trying to respond to comments, and then I, I thought I muted everybody, and I'm like, hey, what's going on here? Right. Well, now that's out of the way, my technical flub of the day. So thank goodness like, for that. I like how I told Lisa, don't ask me to do anything cognitive. And the first thing we had to do was troubleshoot where the sound was coming from. <laughs> it's always me. All right. If there's some sort of te technical trouble, it's always my fault. Definitely mm. my fault. So, hi everybody. Hey, future best sellers. I'm Lisa Daly, and uh, welcome to the live stream today. As you can see, we have a lovely and an awesome panel today, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Starting, I think, with Caro. So, hi, my name is Caro Brown. I am an urban fantasy author, and I have a channel here on YouTube and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm actually here to do an art commission that I said I was going to do, and so we're doing that now. So. And I'm looking very flustered because I've moved my setup over here and the layout has completely changed. So if I have like this, like this look, like I'm questioning life, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just because you're questioning life today. It's also that all your stuff is in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> doll is with us today. Hello, doll. Hello, Hello there. Hello there, humans. I am Del Cecil Bruno, the partially blind alien who is an own voices author, a.k.a. the ace from space. I write primarily science fiction, but I like to explore other genres with my short stories, and I also write some poetry. I stream every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and I co-host wherever I'm invited, which is usually on Wednesdays, too. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm working on today I'm working on um, updating all the details of my newsletter because I'm sending it this Friday. Nice. Uh, yeah. and, nice. And things yeah. have changed. So like you know, it's the end of the month. Of course, things have changed. So I have to give a quick update before I send that baby out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yay! That's awesome, doll. I am so proud of you with yeah. your newsletter. That's so great. Well, Savvy got one too. Savvy did the newsletter thing. I did. I just Ooh. recently said because uh, Lisa and Carol, your guys' awesome advice really like inspired me to get. Like I had a Mailchimp page set up, but I didn't have like a landing page. I didn't have it really put together, and now I have it really put together. And I need to send out more newsletters. Like. I'm feeling good about it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super excited about that. Michelle, uh, tell us all about you and your channel. Uh, hi, I'm Michelle Schusterman. I'm a middle grade and young adult author, and my channel is all, what do I do? Writing workshops <laughs> and traditional publishing advice, and I am just not awake today, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And oh, today I finished a revision this morning. I sent it in 20 minutes ago. I am very excited that that's done. And my plan for today is to try to finish a draft for a ghostwriting project. And and you've got something with Reedsy coming up. And I've got a webinar on Reedsy's YouTube channel today about middle grade. Yay! Yay. And that's at 3, right? 3 p.m. Eastern today right. over yeah. on Reedsy's channel. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Very I love different. how we have to plug each other in. Speaking of plugging in, did y'all know that Stell's birthday next Wednesday? What? <laughs> yeah. No, I did not know that. So we'll have a little celebration Yay. on Wednesday. It'll be all doll all day for good. It's going to be so fun. Because <laughs> Wednesday is like the perfect day, doll, for you to have scheduled your birthday. I <laughs> You're really thinking ahead, and I like that. Savvy, <laughs> tell us all about you and your channel. Hello, everyone. I'm Savvy from Savvy Writes Books. On my channel, we talk about life as an author and a small business owner. I'm the owner of Forever Home Friends, a series of children's books and stuffed animals based on real rescue dogs. And on my channel, we talk about small business owner life and that kind of thing. And uh, today during the stream, I'm going to be working on a few things that I wanted, I meant to get done for work over the past few days, but I kept falling asleep. So I need to get some, <laughs> some of that done and then I need to package up orders and go to the post office. So it won't be much writing, but it will be all of that today. 
That's good. It's nice to uh, knock a bunch of stuff off of your to-do list. I watched Tara's blog. I don't even know. Was it a week ago? A couple days ago? When did it happen? They all blend together. May have yeah. last week. <laughs> I think it was last week. So I was so... Like, I'm not really a vlog watcher, but mm -hmm. Michelle every week talks about how she's like a total vlog addict now. I need to make more vlogs. I used to make a bunch of like business owner day in the life vlogs and I kind of, mm -hmm. I stopped making them because the quarantine happened and I was like, well, you're not going to get to see me go out and do that many interesting <laughs> things anymore. So <laughs> Just me in my house. Yeah. Well, so I was watching Carol's and she has like this massive to-do list and I'm like, she's like checking this off checking that i'm like i was so oh i love it the That's feeling it. of checking the box is so nice it is it's so nice all right oh and oh sorry also tonight 9 p.m central 10 eastern every wednesday we've got the author tube sleepover over on my channel wear your pajamas get ready to do some work and i just posted a facebook event yesterday my book launch oh. party for my new book, hashtag Savvy Business Owner, is coming out on my birthday, which is September 8th. So <laughs> that is uh, two, two, what, three weeks from yesterday. I don't know. I can't do things right now. It's not right very now. far away. A it's week? not. It's it's a week from next, it's two right. weeks from next. I, I don't know. It's a week from next Tuesday. Yeah, coming soon to a screen near you. Yeah. Yeah. I sent out a, a Facebook event invite, um, but I've also um, I've also put a, a the live stream on YouTube. So well, it's gonna fun. be a good time. I can't just like it feels like you just had a book launch for one final vinyl. So. I know it feels recent, although I guess the quarantine has just like warped my perception yes. of time because oh, it was really insane. like three and a half months ago. So yeah. it feels like every like yeah. time has stopped and also will not ever stop. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> simultaneously, everything takes forever and six minutes. So. <laughs> Sorry, Detective Robert Jones. Speaking of six minutes, we would probably should start talking faster and get to some writing. Oh my! <laughs> I know was like, not you. You are always like super wrapped up. I'm just saying, like we're seven minutes in. We have not said hi to our people yet. Well, I'm Robert Jones, and my channel is the Story Detective, and we analyze everything story oriented and various forms of storytelling and genre, and put it under a Sherlockian microscope. And love that. of it for our viewers. I also do tech reviews, and today I'm going to be working on my quarantine short story. I have a ton of stuff going on. I took this month off, and it seemed to be a good time to do it. I feel like I have much time off because I'm working on multiple websites and getting all kinds of things done. So by the end of the year, I will have a better sense of business for my launch next year, and I will have stuff coming out by the end of the year, even short. Yay! I'm so proud of you. That is. I'm, awesome. I'm very confused. You said a word I don't know. Time off. Like, what is that? <laughs> Can we get a definition up in the chat? Somewhere? Yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody help a sister out here. I know, right? I know. I took Sunday off like a week, <laughs> a week and a half ago, whatever, a week ago, week and a half ago. And it was like, it felt so good. It felt so good. Although um, I know this uh, uh, trauma therapist who works with people like this. He does this rapid res bleh, rapid resolution therapy. So you don't like talk about your mom or your childhood problems. He basically gets you from like, here's my problem to the solution in like six sessions. Mm -hmm. And what he told me, which I think is, he's a fascinating guy, like does all these experiments on his children fascinating guy not bad here <laughs> this sounds awful um uh binaural beats with his children which is oh, right i know what those are yeah. yeah yeah so uh not like creepy not like we're gonna have like a new spider-man or something coming out of this. you never know okay you never, you never know. know you never <laughs> that's true who knows what those binaurals will do 
But you um, never know mm -hmm. if someone can learn astral projection because of binaural beats. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a sci-fi writer. I sorry. <laughs> it seems like a good. It could happen for sure. I feel like you should write that though. All right. So, so he. Um, but he said that you you need three days off. Did we talk about this last week? You need three days you, off. You lectured me. You you were lecturing me about taking time off, and I was like, I don't comprehend. Not sure what you're saying right now. I need a translator. Help. Help. Yeah. Help. From what language? Exactly. I've taken time off like once. It was for my honeymoon, which I had a year and a half after my wedding, because I didn't want. I couldn't take time off after my wedding. <laughs> this is this is what happens when you own your own business, or yeah. you're an author mm -hmm. on deadline constantly, or you're trying to you know get your thing off the ground. So, let's say hello to our people who have joined us today. Our awesome comment section. Alexis is here. Hello. We're so glad to see you. What is everybody writing today? Alexis is working on dark romance. Ooh. I know that's what I, just the that. That is just what I said. I said, ooh. We love dark romances. Yeah. What does, that, what does that say about us? I know, right? But here's what she says. She says it's 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 called irate. It's about a heavy metal bassist slash vocalist who confronts his abusive childhood past that could jeopardize his future with his fiance. Oh. Ah. Yes, please. A little character growth. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, that sounds good. I always love um I always love books that have some connection to music, which is interesting because I am not musically inclined at all. At all. Misha's here. Hey Misha, we're so glad you're here today. All right, Nisha is doing work, 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 and more work, and she really helps she can finally be done with this. We don't know what this is. Tell us. Let us know. Maya's here. Hey, Maya. Yeah, we had a ton of early birds today. All right. <laughs> she, she says, I actually decided the only person who can cut this off is me. That's true. Only you can cut this off. All right. Hannah's here. Hey, Hannah. Hi. All right. Yeah, so glad you guys made it. Heather's here. Hey, Heather. She's ready for this. Oh, and StreamYard jumped. If we were on Caro's stream right now, we everybody would get a bingo marker. Mm -hmm. Orla's here. Hey, Orla. Hey, Heather. Orla. <laughs> Heather says, I have so many things to do. Guess gonna guess I'm going to work on my planners first. Can I say something that's very exciting that's happening? Speaking of planners, Caro and I have our first... Um, boozy planorama live stream happening on saturday night what? 8 p.m eastern what oh I know. that's gonna be so fun <laughs> she mentioned she mentioned it to me she's like hey let's have some drinks and plan things and i was like that could be very dangerous <laughs> <laughs> sticker baby that's oh that's my god i need to come to that that sounds that's great awesome. you're welcome to come robert is going to be there and um we and i have a list of other people if you want to come definitely hit me up on, on social media and um and we will uh and we'll bring everybody in that we can so yes it's gonna be fun i'm super I, cool. I told amy she was gonna show up and maybe we can help her plan for a website i'm just saying. wow we should totally do that all right i'm super excited charlie's here hey charlie we're so glad you made it today okay hey. word is here hello i'm not sure why i made that but yeah all right <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dorky this morning. I have no idea why. I'm just You're not that. dorky, stop that. I'm just gonna apologize in advance for every goofy ass thing I say today. You're perfectly <laughs> you. Stop that. Oh my goodness. You're just I, Lisa. You're just, I am just Lisa. Just I, be Lisa. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I can't really be anything else. So there we go. All right. Heather is gonna work on a review. Eva's here. Hey Hi, Eva. Eva. So good to see you. Sarah's here. Oh my gosh, we have such a good group today. Sarah's here. Hello, Sarah. Rose Lynn is here. Very nice to see you. Very, very nice. Sam is here. Hello. We're so glad to see you. Adega Outlaw. All right. Hey, Adega. Joanne in Jahan. We're so glad you guys made it. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. wait go back. What? It was it was Joanne's birthday yesterday. yesterday. What? Yeah. 
you guys I and i did a you. shout out and i was like everybody go send her love and they said okay but i was kind of <laughs> like i was waiting for you to show up yesterday i was like maybe she'll come but it is her birthday she's probably doing like real life things <laughs> probably <laughs> we had some good cake yesterday well happy birthday joanne we're so um yeah love love to you all right charlie's here everybody Linda Lisa's here. Is it Linda Lisa or Linda Lisa? I think it must be Linda Lisa. But if I'm wrong, tell us in the chat. What? Hi from Mogadishu. That's so oh awesome. Welcome. We're so glad you made it today. All right. Tell me, does anybody know how to pronounce this name? Noor. 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 Thank you, doll. Coming in for the win. Mm -hmm. All right. Noor. Fantastic. Nora, welcome. I know this is your first time with us, so thank you so much for coming today. We hope you have an awesome time. All right, Alexa says, hey to Dal and Caro. Hannah says, hey, everybody. Hey, Hannah. The other Hannah's here. Hannah Palmer's here. She's Hi, Hannah. Yay. And, Hannah. and C so we have such a good group. CEO mm -hmm. Savvy's nickname of the day is the High Daily Brown Doll Detective Savvy Schusterman. Yeah. Oh, I, love that. Um, I will need to talk to you later, CEO Savvy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Eva says, read the 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, that is correct. Michelle, if you send me um, in the... Um, in the com in the backstage comments, a link. I will yeah. upload it in the chat. Thank you. I will do that right now. Awesome. All right, fantastic. All right, everybody. Well, I feel like we should get started with a little warm up sprint. What does everybody think about that? I love warm up sprints. Right? Who doesn't love warm up? It gives me time to like drink my coffee and question life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not too much time. But not too much time before it's time to come back and start writing. Yes. Uh, I like them because I don't like to start cold. It's like the warm up act for your regular writing, right? Mm, right. Good. I will be working on thumbnail today, a thumbnail today for the boozy planorama. And Ooh. And um, and I'm also going to be working on my quarantine with story because it is not done, and it's due really soon, like the end of the month, right? Yeah, don't worry. I just started mine on Monday, so <laughs> you and I are in the same boat. All right, that's I, good. I feel really bad because like some of like the other authors have been working on it for like over a month, and they're like, "Where are you at?" And I was like, "You know, I'm thinking about it." And then like Monday came, like, "Where are you?" It's like I just started writing, and they're like, "Are you serious?" I was like, "Yeah, this is how I roll." <laughs> The, the thinking part is also super important. And the more thinking you do, the less, you know, messing around you do with the writing. So I work very much the same way. I started it right away and then sat on it. And then now I'm back to it. But I really need to, I need to finish it. Mine, I just dove in and started pantsing. And I had two false starts. And then the first draft, we were just finding the story. So now I'm finally putting it together. <laughs> Hey, that is awesome. That is super awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, let's get writing. We're going to get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs>
All right, everybody. I needed like 57 people today. All right. Okay, welcome back. So, so how did uh, how did everybody do with their five minutes? Good. Yeah. Great. Super awesome. All right. Just okay. Just okay. Just a little, just a little. I got half of an email written that I needed to write. Well, that's good. Five minutes is not. I mean, it's not really enough time to like super get going, but there's enough time to sort of you know kind of get you into the mindset. So. All right, so uh, Heather had told us last time she was working on her planners. Today she is going to work on some nonfiction and then work on her novel later on today. That is awesome. Nice. Very nice. Charlie's here. Okay, is here. Oh, I think I've skipped again. Did I miss that part earlier? All right, we jumped. Sorry. Hmm. Okay, Paige is trying to finish a rough draft today. Can't wait to get to writing. Sorry, it took so long. Hey, everyone, this is my favorite writing stream. What? Thank you, Paige. That's so sweet of you. That Paige is, is so nice. He is. That is so sweet. Thank you. That just made my day. Thank you very much. Eva says, Carol is a natural with the blogs, loving the blogs. Me Thanks. too. Me too. It's a lot of like, look at me check boxes. These are my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but you checking off boxes is so inspiring. Like I actually made like a new little to-do list, fancy to-do list, just inspired from your video. So see, it's a oh, good thing. Thank right? you. You're welcome. All right, CEO Savvy says, having a sucky week, family drama, COVID testing, work squabbles. Oh my. Love having the consistency. Mm. Oh. Yay. Thank you. I'm sorry your week is so sucky. If I can punch it better, let me know. I will. My fists are ready. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I know violence doesn't fix anything, but it does fix things for me. <laughs> you know what fixed things for me this week? I'm going to confess something today. Ready? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I know. I, okay, so like uh, uh, last year I um, did a work for hire project that was a middle grade pop music book. And in the course of the pop, writing the pop music book, I was introduced to and sort of like got a little crush on uh, K-pop. And this week. There's no there, little crush on K-pop. Once you go K-pop, there's no saving you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me know. It's like we gotta send like a spec, like a special ops team to come and like retrieve you and like have you relearn English and then you know make sure that you're not walking around with flashlights going BTS, BTS. Well, speaking of BTS, they just did their first English language song, all English, and um, it's called Dynamite, and is literally the happiest song you will ever listen yeah. to. Ever, and then you add that to the little video. They're just so cheerful. Oh and my god! I somebody know. somebody I, took that song and did a mod for it for Beat Saber. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving. Well, I was gonna say I'm not leaving my house for a week, but guess what? I'm not leaving my house anyway. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my gosh! All right, guess what I'm doing after the stream today? <laughs> okay, CEO Savvy, your prescription is you have to go listen to BTS Dynamite before you start writing. Our, <laughs> right? You're, I swear, it's like the happiest song ever. I've never so listened to any K-pop. I might have to try it. Yeah. Oh. I'm just I, saying, once you once you go there, like that's what it hurts. You, know, you don't need a therapy group, but you're going to find like a whole bunch of people that you didn't know existed. Like, um, right? Because I keep hearing these names of people in K-pop. I'm like, I don't know who that is. I don't know who I that am is. In, you know what? I am, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll am immune. I'm immune to K-pop, I guess, because I have listened to it. I have listened Ooh. to it, and I kind of like a couple of songs here and there. There was a band that I liked. And that's it. I am not learning Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Two songs that I can get you started on is KDA's Pop Star. That's a really big popular one with the gaming right. community. And then BTS's Mic Drop. Those are the two like okay. like they play everywhere. If I go if I go I call it Koreatown. I know that probably sounds really bad, but it's literally just <laughs> a giant Korea like strip mall. And like I can walk past five TVs and they're all playing those songs. <laughs> yep. That's good. 
That's good. I don't know. I it's very it's I don't know what it is that I like about it so much. It's like all the awesome stuff about boy bands. It's <laughs> very well it's very well produced. It is extremely well produced. But you have like um it's peppy and they sing about love, which is my favorite topic and other things as well actually shockingly. They there's actually some depth in some of those songs. I, I, I think their that's fan base I'm, is scary. Their fan base is so freaking scary. Oh, like, if, you thought, if you thought Romance Landia was bad, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, they call yeah. them so, yeah, like it frightens me because like one person like said something bad about one of the members of like BTS. I've never seen Twitter explode like that. Like we will fight you it's like oh my god yeah, i think that's why i avoided k-pop just because the their twitter followers are so annoying mm -hmm. so. does that not give you something to live for i mean honestly can I, you can you fathom if your fan base was as crazy for you no 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 no, no. that would be bad for everyone's mental health involved i i, I guess yeah. i also i worry about the mental health of some of the the teenagers involved in this oh. i hope they're doing Okay. Yes. No, it's not yeah. just teenagers, sis. Not yep. just teenagers. It's not just teenagers. Yeah, it's like 30, 30, 30 to like 60 year old women. Like, we love BTS. No, no, no. Like, I don't mean the fans. I mean of the, the performers. I worry about their mental health. Oh, yeah. no. Because they're, they're, they're so, like, uh, they're held to such a high standard right now. They are. They are, they are for but sure. But they're rich enough to get therapy, just saying. <laughs> there we go. Good for you know, and I guess that's what has to happen. Uh you know, oh go ahead, Robert. Sorry. I'm gonna go give these songs a listen after and see what I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving it a listen right now. I'm like, I'm gonna try K pop. Uh okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my my few K pop songs that I like. Okay. <laughs> BTS Dynamite. That's what you guys have to listen to. I've never to. heard of that one, so it I'm going to look it up. It out this week. It literally got 200 million views in like four days. It's the, only, it's the only group I've ever known to outsell Beyonce's first day sales. It's the only group. Yeah. <laughs> they were insane. It's insane. All right. Let's talk to some. Let's talk to some. Maybe you didn't, you didn't, you didn't know you came here for a K-pop session, oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Well, and I, I always think like that I'm not exactly the K-pop market, but um, but like I said, I wrote this book, and <laughs> when I was researching it, it was just starting to like really be huge, and um, and I kind of love it. So, all right, here we go. Let's see what everybody else is up to. So, Joanne Indahen says, birthday season. I got to be 40 yesterday. Still flashed from the surprise party my friends threw me. I assume that flashed means hungover. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. says, I made it. Yay! Yay! He's in the middle of canning corn. That sounds awesome. I love that. Heather says, so many Virgos here, including her. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. How many? All the Virgos. All the Virgos. All right. Locked up Lucy, ready to plant my tree, edit some words. Yes. Belated birthday wishes from Sam and Orla and Eva and Charlie. Oh my gosh, hold on. And StreamYard jumped. Where'd it go? Uh, bingo. All right. Awesome. Yes, bingo. All right. So Misha says the program I'm contracted to is launching a call for proposals for their innovation fund. And I moved house last week. Oh, God. Oh, my. So my hours have, have not been unlike something like opening a business. Work-life balance destroyed. Yes, yes, exactly. So I want to talk about that when we come back. Um, I want to know how everybody did in this last sprint, in the twenty-minute sprint. So be prepared to share if you want to. And um, and I also want to know if anybody implemented any of the things that we talked about last night in our focus um, when we were talking about like different strategies and hacks to to kind of get your um, focus back. And Joanne, before we go to our 20 minute sprint, has some wise, wise words. Chocolate cake, all mm. pain. <laughs> all pain is distinguished by chocolate cake. And BTS. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. All right, you guys, we are going to get started with our 20 minute sprint. Let me just pull that up and we will get rolling with it. We got it, we got it. All right, everybody, we are going to start Whoa, in three, two, one, go.
we're back. And we're back. All right. Let me get rid of the screen and turn on Robert's microphone. <laughs> All right. How did everybody do? Uh, let us know in the chat. We have like a really fun sort of conversation happening about um, about K-pop. <laughs> I did listen. I did listen to it. I did listen to Dynamite. Yeah, yeah, I listened to one one song and it was it was at uh, the dancing was what yeah. was really like. Very awesome. uh, dancing is amazing. I don't I don't like, see the dancing very well uh, because yeah I, I see they are moving I can see that but th that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, just imagine the coolest dancing I know. ever. Uh, and it, be it was it. it was very yeah. happy. I I can yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's yeah, <laughs> Dal's that comment. Was it. It was very I, happy. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> It was very happy. And that's cool. That was really what I liked about it. Like, I, I think the reason I got so sucked into it this week was because it was so happy. And I, I think it's the same reason why I've been reading, like, a ton of really funny, like, happy ending kinds of books lately. I just want that, like, I'm trying to, like, infuse mm. happiness into my life right now because of all the, you know, because of life. Because I have to explain to you why we might all need a little more extra happiness in our lives today. So better days are here, Zellers is here. Hello, we're so glad you made it today. All right, we have a lot of, we do have a lot of, um, a lot of birthday stuff going on. All right, here we go. Um, Wendy Scribbles says, Kara, watching you get stuff done is motivating as weird as that is. Orla got 84 words. I think that was in the five-minute sprint. All right. Heather's going to message me. She says something's up with Facebook today. Can't get into it. Oh, that's weird. That is very strange. Yeah. Uh, CO Savvy says, thanks. Irish hugs are my favorite. Aw. Stacy thought K-pop was TV. Well, now, now you know. You've got like a whole starter kit right there in the chat. There you go. Okay. Okay, Paige says, I've always been super skeptical of K-pop and Dynamite. It's so happy and fun. I'm dancing. Yeah. All right, there we go. J-Rock fans are just as insane. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Ooh. Really? Hey, somebody, <laughs> rec somebody please recommend me some J-Rock. I need some Japanese bands in my life. Uh, Carol, hurts. help me. <laughs> That, yeah. that is crazy. All right. So CO Savvy says we've decided K-pop sprint next 20 minutes of BTS. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Word says it's going to grow on me. Paige is already obsessed. That's funny. Heather missed our focus stream. So this is what I want to know. First, let us know um, how you did in the uh, in that last sprint. And second, did you try anything that we talked about last week on the focus, like on our focus hacks? So what about you guys, panel lovely and talented panelists? Did anybody try anything different this week or in the I'm, last couple of weeks? I'm literally trying to remember what I said I would try and like I, I'm trying a total blank. All right. I, I'm like, I'm like, I know I was there. I saw myself recording that <laughs> I was there. So I know that that was a thing, but I'm like, like, what did I say that? Does anybody remember, <laughs> remember what I said? I, I gonna remember what Caro said. So my favorite Caro advice, with, I, which I bring up a lot, is that you should make plans as though you're going to be sick. deathly mm -hmm. ill with the flu, which I yeah. think is good advice. Um, uh. Yeah, I actually did the whole pay yourself first all of last week, where I did I planned my day around my creative work first thing in the morning, and I wrote more. So I I pushed everything else off until later in the day, and um, and even though I traditionally have not been I've been more productive in the afternoon for whatever reason in the new world order. I'm more productive in the morning. So that was my big change and it actually worked. So there you go. Anybody else? Um, I tried to vlog, but I don't like what what I did. So I deleted it because <laughs> I don't, I just don't like it. Um, I'm still trying to get a hang on my sleep. 
uh, I don't have any meds to regulate myself. So it, it's very hard for me to create a concrete routine if I can barely routine up my sleep. I mean, it's yeah. I have hormonal problems. I don't know what I have because doctors say I'm fine when in, in reality I'm not fine. So, okay, I will have to do what, what I can with what I have which is not good. And I was very sick this weekend. So whatever plans I had for this week went out the window because yesterday and Monday I was like, I was in pain. So my Aww. plan is from today on, just do what you can. It's, that's all I can do. I am not feeling very well. I'm very good at hiding it. Um, um, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not in pain today, but I'm still very depressive and very like, Ugh. it's a, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do what I can with what I have and not let my emotions dictate my productivity. It's all like, it's all, it's really all I can do. Well, and that, thank you, doll. That's such a challenge, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. like writers all have, you know, we, we rely on our emotions as a tool of our work. And so when mm -hmm. you are feeling that low and down, it is, it does make it really hard to, um, to read, mm -hmm. to write. So it's, it's just a fight. Yeah, I will, keep, I will keep fighting. I you're guess. Keep fighting, you will win it, or you'll win some days and you won't win other days, and but you'll just keep mm -hmm. moving forward. So, novel Nana's here. Yay! I saw why she was late earlier. She says, I'm here, I'm late, but I was here. And she said, Story Detective, you're the reason I'm late, was catching up on your <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> you know that you automatically have an excuse tardy if you are watching Robert's videos, so, or anyone. <laughs> so good for you. Thank you so much for coming. We're so glad you made it. I'm so glad you're here. All right, Stacy says, I'm going to stick to listening to Imagine Dragons and creating a playlist for them on my iPod. That's, That's also on that is awesome. by the way. <laughs> so what? Oh yeah, right. That is awesome. That is super awesome. All right, CEO Savvy says back to back to K-pop. Dynamite's great. Love the falsetto. Thanks for the recommend. Paige has some happy songs that she's recommending. Sunday Smile and Tangerine Skies. I love love upbeat songs. Laurel's here. Hey Laurel. All right, Heather got coffee. Let's see. She says it's warm. She's fellow Florida girl. Uh, it is a thousand degrees in the middle of the night right now. It's like so humid and sticky. Super, super it's humid. Been and sticky. Getting hot here again the last couple of days too. Yeah. Far Does anybody? Oh, go ahead. As far as the last week after talking on last week's stream, um, I think for me it has been a rough couple of months since COVID. But mm -hmm. I'm finally getting back on track. My time off, as I say, has been time off from um, creating videos for AuthorTube. But I think I'm still doing as much, if not more, work than usual. It's just that I'm writing and working on other things. But right. back from AuthorTube, I've rethought things a little bit. And I think that's important, too. When you've got things that are overwhelming you, sometimes you need to prioritize and step back from that thing allow yourself a little time to rethink and find your balance again because mm -hmm. yeah it can be very demanding and producing those videos sometimes can be a full-time job it can take over most everything else in my life so yeah. um, i've thought about restructuring some of that um, i definitely got more writing done but that was becoming a worry because i was falling behind in that but everybody's behind so that makes me feel a little bit better <laughs> <laughs> There's I haven't I have not posted a video in eight well no wait hang on I, I posted a poem but like a author tube video I haven't posted a video in a long time so it's not your fault everybody is behind I barely stream mm -hmm. it's true I mean I think that again goes back to Carol's great advice about like give yourself a break because yeah. right and and also I think what you just said Robert is so important because a lot of times we just go 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 mm -hmm. and burn ourselves out but people who take vacations are actually far more productive than people who don't you have to give yourself time to be creative to sort of reset your brain to reprioritize so that you're not just like constantly running on the hamster wheel so I'm really glad that um, that you are. As some of you know, I've been looking at websites and looking at some right. other uh, 
opportunities. And when you start thinking of other things, I think it's like they say, change one thing and other things start happening. Right. And had, had so many more ideas, I think, over the past couple of weeks. Even a conversation that Dal and I had got me thinking about a project for a resource. And Dal, I am going to work on that project. And I was thinking about that this morning and how this could actually work and help. Oh, my. I can't wait for it. It will be so helpful. It will be amazing. Yeah, I, I just, oh. So a lot of ideas, a lot of interesting things. And I think that's helped me because fresh ideas propel you forward. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. That is definitely the truth. Um, Novel Nana says she loved your oldie author tube tag. Shelby says, hi, hello. We're so glad you're here. Mm -hmm. We just got, oh, StreamYard, StreamYard dump. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we have like a little, looks like a, um, all right. Laurel says, just watch your video and I'm so in for some flash fiction. That is really awesome. How did you guys, well, I pulled up some comments. How did you guys do in the, uh, in the sprint? Uh, I finished the sketch and sent it to the person and they said, take off the glasses. And I did that. <laughs> did the person say that, Caro? That's awesome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Joanne, she's doing me. I said, we do an avatar so we can have like cool little avatars for the boozy planorama. And she said, yes, I'm the person she's doing it for. So, and I always said the glasses because I like, right? I wear them all the time here when we're doing the live stream because I wear them when I'm writing, but I don't wear them anywhere else. Like they oh. all live on my desk. See, so I, I, never was conflicted. I was conflicted because during those 20 minutes, I was actually stalking your Facebook, looking for all the pictures of like <laughs> and everything. And so I was just kind of like, okay, here she's got wavy hair, here she's got this. I don't really see a lot of glasses, but she's got glasses on the screen. We'll just put them on and I can erase it. It's okay. <laughs> well, I ne right. Uh, yeah. My hair is another thing. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my hair. Right. There you go. Oh, no. I'm just saying, like, it's, I have like perfect 80s hair. Like it's big. <laughs> it's like when when the whole straight hair thing was popular. Like I'm like I'm sitting this one out. I just have the big hair. So, no, I, I I just have a love craziness relationship. One, one of the things I liked about watching Friends, if you watch it from the beginning to the end, is the fashion trends that change. <laughs> so if you watch the very first episode, they look like they came out of some weird like alternate universe with like the big hair and the streaks of blonde and everything else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then by the end, they look relatively normal. <laughs> relatively normal. All right. So CO Savvy says all artists go through their blue period. Guess this is ours. It is interesting. Yeah. At least we can go through it together. <laughs> Uh, all right, Joanne Ninja Head did a new cover. Woohoo! It's really minimal. Nice. Like yeah, love that book cover. We know we're here. We figured it out. Heather says I haven't filmed anything for this channel since like June. I have been editing a video for like two weeks now that I thought was going to be super quick, and it's just a little longer than I want. So I feel you. Paige says after I finish my trilogy, I'm going to write a book about the importance of the art, music, literature, and art, but it'll be fiction. The main characters are inspired by Emily Dickinson and Van Gogh. What a cool idea. Love that. Love that. Eva has finished up three of eight for yesterday's to-do list. I'm still on last week's to-do list, but I am super inspired by Caro. All right. Uh, Shelby Rides says, oh, I'm sorry. CEO Savvy says, Shelby Rides, I had to tell you I love your Instagram brand once I see a black and white on my feed i'm like that's so yeah i agree <laughs> this is like one of the few instagram um, i'm sorry everybody else i'm blind I, I have to explain myself before i say that because it's gonna sound weird but I, it's one of the few instagram feeds that like if i see a picture by shelby i know it's shelby and i know what it is and it's like oh yeah it's shelby and i like it very much but again i'm very limited in eyesight so please no one take offense in that i just love shelby's I think that that is a really good message, though, about how like how people can really connect with really clear branding. So mm -hmm. and how it doesn't have to be like salesy or gross or any of that other stuff that right. Shelby has this cool black and white Instagram feed at which I have not seen yet. Now I have to run over and subscribe. Um, but so 
so doll saying, oh, I love this. I know it right away. I, I think that's really cool. So look mm -hmm. who's here. Georgie, so Georgie O'Sullivan's here. Yay. Hi, well, Georgie. You. All right, guys. Let's get started with another writing sprint. We want to make sure that we have plenty of work done today when we are all done here. Getting all right. This previous comment on our blue period. I wonder oh, if yeah. we changed our typeface on our computer screens to blue. If that would be the one change that would make us see it fresh again. I'm blue. Da -dee -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. It's a good song, Bones. Don't judge. It, it is a good song. I'm it's a happy. It's a happy song. I like I'm, it. I'm always in my blue period, <laughs> like 24 <laughs> hours a day for my entire life. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, let's go ahead and get our writing sprints going. We're going to get started in three, two, one, sprint.
All right. So did you guys all hear me say, oh, shoot, when I realized we only had seven seconds left? <laughs> I heard, oh. I don't know. If that, I don't know. If, are you everybody? Heard that? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> That's my new warning sound. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All right, you guys. How did everybody do? Let us know. I thought Joanne Tech Gremlins. Joanne had to go. Go ahead, sorry. Oh, I said I fought Tech Gremlins. They really did not want me Robert. to be here. <laughs> what? Oh, no. I know. I was like, what happened to Caro? She just disappeared. All right. Well, I'm glad you made it back. So, um, so how did everybody do in that last stream? Michelle, how did you do? Wait, hold on, Michelle, you're um, muted. There we go. Oh, oh you're muted. <laughs> um, good. I finished the second to last scene in this book. It was about 700 words that I oh, added. Oh, good. So, yeah, very good. Good, good for you. Very nice. Very nice. How about you, Robert? How did you do? Well, I was editing, so I deleted a lot and went over some material that was already there. So I only added actually 113 new words, but I got through several pages of editing, which is good. That's awesome. I did uh, I did like five different type treatments for uh, on word swag for um, boozy planorama, planorama. <laughs> so. So hopefully something good will come out of all of that. Well, uh, Donna, I, how do you do? The, I cannot I cannot update the newsletter with sprints because um, I'm adding and adding and this is getting too long and I don't like it. So after we finish the stream here, I'm going to cut off a few things because I don't want it to be overly long. It's not it's not good for the readers. Uh, uh, at least that's how I feel. So I'm going to be careful. Um, and then I distract, and because I, like I said, I'm not feeling well, I started rehearsing for the next author to karaoke. And I have a surprise, but uh, I have to rehearse because this uh, this song is in English, but the singer has a different accent. And I, I have to nail it or else it's going to be offensive. So uh, <laughs> oh, that'll be interesting. That'll be really interesting. AC says she's got to sign off since her daughter's class is about to start. We're so glad you are here today, Stacy. Bye, so friends. Glad. All right, Stacey who night. did I miss? Sack. Bye. We're so glad you made it. Savvy, how'd you do today? I did pretty well. I made lunch, so eating lunch was a part of it, but I forgot to eat lunch yesterday, so I was like, better eat lunch today. So I did that, and then I responded to a bunch of YouTube comments because I'm so behind on responding to comments. And then on the next sprint, my goal is going to be to finally get all my orders packaged up so I can go to the post office, which I'm definitely procrastinating on because the post office is gross like i used to be oh, yeah. fine with going to the post office but now we're in a pandemic i don't want to go to the post office but have, uh, have you tried um doing stamps dot and stamps.com i'm that? planning to sign up for that now that i have i got a scale so i can start weighing my my products on that and yeah. then i i just like the thing that keeps stopping me is i keep not knowing what kind of toner to replace in my printer because it keeps uh. giving me a no toner alert so i can't print anything so i'm trying to figure that part out and then once i get that part figured out i'm going to sign up for stamps.com and do that whole thing and print online i know i always think about you when um when i see it so it's like they have like a promo i think your first 30 days are free so it's kind of like, I don't know if I do it all the time. I mean, you you send a ton of stuff out. So it might yeah, be. Yeah, I'm mailing stuff like all the time. Well, I I go to the post office once a week. I used to just go whenever I got an order until the quarantine started. Now it's like, I will go once a week. So right. if you order something after I go to the post office, I'm sorry, you got to wait for a week for it to ship. It's, an it's another week. Yeah. Carol, how did you do? Uh, I finished adding colors and shading. Wait, and then are you I'm lagging. You are, oh, I see it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? All right, I'll have to show it. Can I, I wonder if I oh, can. Oh, I want to see, can we see it? Yeah. Or well, is it a surprise? It's yours. What do, do you think? You want. Is it a surprise, Carol? No, it's yours. <laughs> do whatever you okay, want. Okay, let me see how, how I, okay. All right, well, I want to show <coughs> it. Okay, so um, 
hold on, let's take some comments and then I'm going to figure out how I can make it on the full screen. Because right now I just have it in a little tiny Facebook message. So, okay, Paige says 440 words. Awesome. Wendy got another, wait, I'm in the wrong thing. Wendy got another chapter revised. Love that. Also love your avatar. Uh, writer Sam Wicker, 442, 440 words to twinsies with Paige. That is awesome. Love that. Novel Nana got four pages of editing done. That's fantastic. Wish I could stick around longer. Have to go. Grandbabies need their lunch and a nap. Thank you so much for the stream. Thank you so much for being here, Novel Nana. We're so glad you made it. Paige Dolan is very excited for the author tube sleepover tonight, which Yay! for those of you who, um, who don't know is Savvy Sleepover live stream writing sprint where everybody wears their pajamas. It starts at 10 Eastern, 9 Central uh, uh, over on her channel. All right, here we go. Heather added to her outline. That is so awesome. Novel Nana says, I never get to stay, but for one or two friends during the day because I babysit my grandbabies. All right, Kelsey's here. All right, we're so glad you made it. Look how cute Kelsey's picture is. She's like all full of attitude and smiles. I love it. All right, we are going to make sure you get some words in today, Kelsey, for sure. All right, Bonnie's working on her September plan. You gotta come to the plan of Rama. All right, Eva says, I hope I can stay up uh, late enough for it tonight, maybe even the after party I always miss. All right, CO Savvy, hold on. CO Savvy says, listen to BTS mic drop at Carol Brown. I'm curious to know how these Koreans learn such urban moves and tunes. Korean grandmas aren't exactly known for their sweet <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely true. I was, I was actually going to type to you because uh, when I was in Japan, um, it was kind of interesting because, uh, you know, there's that there's that thing where like uh, Americans get like Japanese kanji or hinagana tattooed on their bodies and they don't know what it means. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, they do the same thing with their clothes. Um, so like I would walk around Japan, there'd be like some girl and she'd have like a pink shirt with white words on it. And I'd be like, because it would be things like cat, bookshelf, and laugh. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's so oh, cute. How cute that is. I didn't mean to, like, just, ju I was trying to figure out whether or not I could share it. And then I just jumped right oh, on. Oh, it looks so cute. I love it. it Who's this? Adorable. It's me. Car Carol just did it. Oh, this is Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I love it, Carol. It's so sweet. Thank you so much. Yay! I love the Thank eyes. You. I love how they're like uh, sparkly. Yeah, <laughs> everyone everyone has soul in their eyes in my drawings. Yeah. I love it. Uh, then don't draw me. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I, love, I love it. I think it's so awesome. Thank you so much, Carol. It's like You're awesome. Awesome. I'm so excited. So we're going to debut it on the thumbnail for the boot. Well, we debuted it here actually. So <laughs> we're going to debut it on the thumbnail for the, um, for the Planorama stream. So I'm yeah. super, super excited about that. All right, you guys, we have 1238. I feel like we've made really good time today. I think we can do another sprint. Is everybody good for that? Yeah. Carol, just give me a look, right? Everybody's on yes. All right. We're going to be good though. We're going to wrap it up when we come back. All right. One more time. One more. One, One more time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, Doll's going to just sing us out here. Hold on. Let me just get us back to our timer. What did I just do? Did I, I just. I'll, oh, I think I'll just rehearse the next karaoke for the next sprint. I think I'll just sing. My, my heart just wants to sing. So that's going to be me. That is awesome. All right, hold on. I just picked the wrong screen to share. I was literally sharing the live stream 10 seconds later. There's the timer. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's get started in three, two, one.
Awesome. All right. Yay. How did everybody do on that last sprint? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Like halfway through this last scene, I think. Good for you. You're killing it today. That's awesome. Well, I'm, this made me snort laugh. I did not Street see it until like two seconds ago. <laughs> Crack me up, sorry. So like a ton of, oh my gosh, so pretty uh, avatar comments. Let's just look at this, right? Paige says, hashtag skill. Heather says, very cute. Alexis says, that's yes. beautiful, Caro. Sia says, <laughs> Sia says uh, add Odin ah. and a mimosa. <laughs> Yeah. Where, right. where is I Odin? That. I agree. Um, <laughs> he can't, you know, he can't be everywhere at once. He despite, besides despite he his such name, a big personality he, he would everywhere. require. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true, actually. Maybe he is. He's just with us with spirit today. Hello, Mr. Brown. We're just lovely to see you today. All right. Um, Heather says, I went to your channel, Michelle, and subbed, clicked on your Reasley link on the video, watched one of two. Awesome. But I saw her next her next thing. She said the link didn't work. Oh, really? But that that couldn't have been a link to the live stream today because it's only it's not in that video. Um, but I do have a link to my Reasley profile. Maybe that's broken. Thank you for letting me know, Heather. Uh, Maybe you Check that I'll out. <laughs> cut and pasted, um, or copied and pasted. All right, so it feels weird typing Wednesday every time. I'm glad I'm not the only one that has that issue. All right, Heather says, um, That's the second, yeah. Uh, okay, got it. All right, fantastic. All right, so Sam says 675 of 1647 for the stream. You are the best for hosting these streams. You are the best for showing up. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh. All right, Heather says it's starting to storm here. We live in the same state, not that far apart. So I'm sure it's going my way in a minute. So, all right, how did you guys do savvy? How'd you do? I got two of my orders packaged up and then I still have two more to finish packaging and then I will get them put in the cart and then head on over to the post office. Uh so. Awesome. Yeah, still got two more. I was looking for a, like, normally I have, like, I buy boxes in bulk that are the right size to fit, like, a stuffed animal, a book, like, the whole combination. But if someone just buys one, like, if they just buy a book, I can put it in a bubble mailer. But if someone just buys one stuffed animal or if someone just buys stuffed animal accessories, then I'm like, oh, I don't want to put this in a big box and pay extra shipping. So I was, like, looking around for small boxes to reuse. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Well, that's good. That's good. All right. Laurel says, I managed to post on Instagram, which is pretty good for me these days. Awesome. Yay. That is fantastic. I almost got my thumbnail done for the boozy planorama. So that is just good. Um, uh, Michelle, you did great. You said, yeah. right? All right. Yeah. Halfway through a scene. Awesome. Story detective, how did you do? Um, more editing. I added 169 words, only 515 for the stream, but I actually edited eight pages, so that's not bad. Nice. Very nice. How about you, Caro? How'd you do? Well, I, we all know how you did because we saw that beautiful avatar. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I didn't have to do anything else to the avatar, so I actually finished, um, I finished up the last of this chapter. I hear and so what Caro is saying. It's just you. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I, at this point, like the gremlins have left Amy's house and they have infiltrated mine. So like, I, I don't even know. But anyway, same thing to Alpha. He is looking at it and then that's it. That's good. All right. Robert, can you hear me or is it just Carol you can't hear? I can hear you and I heard everyone else. That's so strange. Well, we're almost done. Just when, You'll just know she's talking when her lips are moving. All right. <laughs> Oh, how are you? How did you do in the stream? I I did one more round of rehearsal for that song that I want to try the karaoke. I'm nailing it, most of it, but it's it goes real fast, so I have to practice more. And the newsletter is just growing and growing, so <laughs> everybody 
forgive me, everybody. That's uh, that's all I'm going to say. It just reminded me to write my newsletter because that's what I forgot to do today during this stream. Oh. But I appreciate it. Now I got to log into MailChimp. Here we go. Well, the good news is if there's anything that you forgot to do or you didn't get enough done today, you can definitely head on over to Doll's stream to do that at 2 over on Doll's channel. There is a link below. Then at 3, this is like Writer Wednesday today. Then at 3, it is. Michelle's going to oh, be yeah. over at Easy doing a live stream. And then Savvy's got her uh, author tube sleepover at 10 p.m. Eastern time. And if you want to get your whole life organized, be sure to come over uh, on Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern time for our first ever boozy planner or rammer. Do you have like a? Do you have a thing uploaded? I can set a reminder on. Not yet. I was going to do that. I was going to do it on okay. the street. Because I do not want to miss that. I have all these planner <laughs> stickers, and I, I really <laughs> I want to get it get it moving. All right. I will I will not only put it up today, but I will also send you a link to it as soon as it's up so that you, in particular, will not miss it. So, all right. Yay. I'm super excited. All right, you guys. Let's try and... Um, and get out of Dodge so that everybody can grab some lunch and get ready for Doll's stream. Uh, so Doll, why don't you go first and tell everybody uh, who you are and what your channel is about before we head out. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me today. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here. And um, yeah, it's nice to start the day with you guys. Uh, I am Dal Cecil Bruno, the partially blind alien who is an own voices author, AKA the ace from space. I write primarily science fiction, but I like to explore other genres with my short stories. I have a short story coming out this Halloween. And I also write some poetry that you can check out on my channel. I'm streaming in less than an hour. So yeah, head, up to, head over to my channel if you want to continue sprinting. Absolutely. All right, Michelle, tell us all about you. Guys, I'm Michelle Schusterman. I'm a middle grade and young adult author, and my channel is all writing workshops and traditional publishing talk. Thank you very much for having me again, Lisa. Oh, thanks for being here. We love you. Oh, all right, Savvy, your turn. What's up, my fellow small business supporters? It's Savvy from Savvy Writes Books, and on my channel, we talk about writer life, small business owner life, about uh, I'm the owner of Forever Home Friends, a small business that produces books and stuffed animals based on real rescue dogs. So on my channel, we talk about all the fun small business stuff. And on Wednesday nights, I host the AuthorTube Sleepover at 10 Eastern, 9 Central. Awesome. Thank you so much, Robert. I'm sorry, I have to put this up because it just cracks me up. So <laughs> 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 I'm dying. Oh my God, I'm dying. That is so funny. All right, Robert, tell us all about you. My channel is Story Detective because I enjoy all genres and we talk about all genres and various forms of storytelling and the craft that goes into that. I also do tech reviews and I have a question for Caro, which I can't hear, but she can nod emphatically. Okay. Mr. Brown, a fan of the great Jedi, is that where he's getting his name? And avatar. Okay. No. Okay. Like Ray Jedi art that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's a good question, though. That's a really good question. All right. Even though Robert can't hear you, the rest of us can. Caro, will you tell us all about you and your channel before we head out? Yeah. Uh, so, hi. My name is Caro Brown. I'm a fantasy author. I have a channel here on YouTube where I post up videos having to do with Carol Brown. I've given up trying to figure out what that categorizes as. Um, on September 16th, I have a short story that's coming out in an anthology. If you guys are interested, it's called uh, One Bed Volume Two. And basically uh, my story has to do with an artist falling in love with the writer of a comic that she works on and kind of what that looks like. So, uh, and then- uh, I love it. That sounds I, like- I, Michelle I and I are making yeah. faces. Michelle and I are like, Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry. no, I, I really, actually, that was, um, so uh, I'm trying to plug things in. I am so scatterbrained. I actually pants that story, which was a very strange experience for me. And I'm saying that because this Wednesday, or this Saturday, I'm actually part of Writer's Workshop, and we're talking about the book, Writing Into the Dark, which has to do with panting. So if you are a pantser, I don't know how much you're going to take away from it, but I'm an outliner. So for me, it was like, what magic witchery is this? Um, so it was kind of exciting, but that's happening this weekend and uh, I 
I, I forgot all my other punk promo stuff. Anyway, hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> That's on Tamara's channel at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, yeah. Love that. I'm super excited. I have not read the book yet. I need to speed read it before Saturday. That's on I'll brand. That's what we all do. It's kind of like, so we have to talk tomorrow. We all get the books out and we're like, Oh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I'm Lisa Bailey. I'm a traditionally published author. And on my channel, we talk about publishing and getting published and writing a book that you're super proud of and how to do that. So uh, thank you guys, everybody, so much for being here today. Thank you for my lovely, esteemed panelists. Because as always, make it totally awesome. And you guys are absolutely fantastic. Thanks so much for everybody for being here and I'm sorry I have to just leave us with this because uh, <laughs> all right everybody thanks for being here today bye bye, bye. bye.